In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make an account in Active and Active again in QuickBooks Online. This quick and straightforward process can be completed in just a few minutes, making it an efficient way to manage your accounts in QuickBooks. Whether you're cleaning up your records or simply reorganizing your accounts, knowing how to toggle an account status can be incredibly useful. Let's get started. First, you'll want to open QuickBooks Online. As you do this, you'll need to sign in. There's a sign in button prominently displayed on the QuickBooks Online homepage. Click on this button to proceed. If you have multiple options for sign in, make sure you select QuickBooks Online from the choices provided. It's important to use this specific option to ensure you're accessing the correct platform for managing your accounts. Once you've chosen QuickBooks Online, you're prompted to enter your login credentials. Enter your username and password and then click continue to access your account. It's always good practice to double check your login details to avoid any access issues. Once logged in, you'll be brought to the main dashboard of QuickBooks Online, where you can see an overview of your financial information. Your next step will be navigating to the Transactions tab. Go ahead and click on this tab, which allows you to delve deeper into your financial transactions and manage your accounts effectively. After accessing the Transactions tab, you'll see a list of options. Select Chart of Accounts. The chart of accounts is essentially a comprehensive list of all the accounts you've established for your business and it's from here that you can change an account status. You'll notice a drop down menu situated on the right side of the chart of accounts page. Click on this drop down to display several options for the selected account. From these options find the make inactive selection. Clicking on make inactive will prompt a confirmation message. Here QuickBooks ensures that this account is indeed the one you wish to deactivate. At this point you have two choices, either confirm by selecting yes make inactive or decide against the action by choosing keep active. Carefully consider your decision as making an account inactive means it will no longer appear in active lists, ensuring a cleaner overview of your current accounts. If you choose yes make inactive, the account will now be inactive streamlining your chart by removing unnecessary or dormant accounts. Should you ever need to reactivate the account, simply revisit the chart of accounts, locate the inactive account, and reverse the process by selecting Make Active instead. This flexibility allows you to maintain an organized and up-to-date financial record. That's it, you've successfully learned how to manage the active status of accounts within QuickBooks Online, allowing you to keep everything organized and efficient. Thanks for joining today and don't forget to subscribe for more QuickBooks tips and tricks.